I'm Kim Walker of Handmade Apothecary and today we're going to be talking about St John's wort or Hypericum perforatum which is its scientific name. I'm going to tell you a little bit about its identification and how it's used by herbalists. Today we're going to focus on its use as um, for low mood and anxiety and then I'm going to be joined by my friend Rebecca Lazarou of Laz the Plant Scientist who's going to explain the pharmacology and the chemistry and the action of the planet and how it works on the body. So here's the St. John's wort. Um, it's actually getting a little bit late in the season now, it's early July. Um, it's called St. John's wort because it's picked around St. John's Day, which is the 23rd of June, so about midsummer is it when it's at its peak. Um, you can see the leaves are opposite. And if you look down the stem from the top, it kind of looks like a cross let's see where's a good one you can see kind of like has a cross kind of structure very stiff stem the stem is round oval and if you feel at the sides where the points of the oval are, are two little ridges or wings which uh, tells you it's a perforatum and if I go up close you'll be able to see on the leaf there there's some like little dots through which um, refers to its perforatum or perforation through the leaf. If I hold that up to the light, you'll be able to see through it. Um, and then the flowers, here you go, some lovely, beautiful golden flowers. Five yellow petals. They have black dots at the edges, as do the leaves, um, which are where the oil glands are kept. Very fluffy centre with lots of stamens. So you can see they're about, you know, just about the kind of size of my thumb. Oh, let's get this purple flower out of the way. Yeah, but they're about the size of my thumb. Some people ask um, about a very common garden variety, which has a big flower about this size, doesn't have perforated leaves, doesn't have the black glands, doesn't have the oil in. They ask if that can be used, and the answer is no. It is a hypericum, uh, so it's in the same genus, but you, it's not a medicinal variety. So if you have that one in your garden, it's not the one. Um, get some Hypericum perforatum seeds. However, if you're out in the country, there are a few different species. And um, as long as they have the oil glands, and if I show you, if I grab some buds and... Gosh, I've cut back some and it's getting a bit annoying. If I crush some of the buds up close and the flowers, what you should get is the red streaking of the oil coming out. And this is a medicinal oil that's infused into oils um, for things like uh, burns, wounds, um, nerve pain, like back pain, um, and is really medicinal. So if you're out in the country and it's not the perforatum, but it still has the red oil, it's still used by herbalists. But ideally you do want the perforatum. Um, so there are other videos that I've got up about how to infuse your own oil and what it's used for in more in detail. But now we're going to speak to... Now we're going to speak to Rebecca, who's going to tell us all about how it works in the body for low mood and anxiety. Hey guys, so I'm just going to talk you through um, some of the pharmacology for St. John's Wort. So your nervous system regulates your thoughts and emotions and it creates them. And it basically works by, it has little cells in it called neurons and they communicate using neurotransmitters. So serotonin is one of these neurotransmitters and each neurotransmitter has its own messages. And serotonin is implicated in anxiety and depression and sociability, so how much you want to speak to people and um, your happiness overall. And in depression it's been shown that people have low levels of serotonin. Now the way that um, it works is serotonin is released by one neuron to bind to the receptors on the next following neuron. And then what happens is it's recycled, so it's uh, reabsorbed and reuptaken by the original neuron and it's a closed system and all the materials are saved. Now if you block the reuptake of the serotonin, it means more is floating around in between the two neurons and so more combined to the receptors and you get an elevated effect of the serotonin and that's how common pharmaceuticals so for example Prozac work um, SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors basically what they'll do is they'll block the protein that transports the serotonin back into the cell now St. John's wort works in a similar way um, except it doesn't block the protein that does the transportation what it does 
is there's a molecule in it called hyperforin, which increases the amount of sodium in the neuron, which blocks the serotonin being able to come back in. So again, this results in an increased amount of serotonin between the um, synapses and an increased effect of the serotonin, which is great. And the other, effect, the other active compounds, apart from hyperacin, are hyperferin, um, pseudohyperacin and adhyperferin, as well as uh, Good St. John's Wort will have between 6.5 and 15% of catechin type tannins. It's even been shown in a study that uh, St. John's Wort chronic administration of it increases the amount of serotonin um, receptors in the, the frontal cortex of the brain, which is where we do a lot of our processing and thinking. However, it must be noted that this was in an animal study and so it might not translate into humans. Clinical studies, there was a uh, analysis of 29 clinical trials done on around 5,500 people for St. John's Wort and it was shown that St. John's Wort was as effective as commonly used pharmaceuticals such as tricyclic antidepressants and antidepressants, antidepressants and um, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors like Prozac and stuff. But it must be noted that, especially from a holistic perspective, um, depression is rarely caused by a serotonin imbalance alone. And if you really want to get out of that rut, lifestyle changes are really important. Um, so yeah, it's important to note that. And another thing that's important to note is that St. John's Wort is notorious for interacting with other pharmaceuticals and drugs. Um, so for example, the contraceptive pill and statins and things for blood pressure, um, diabetes, many different types of pharmaceuticals, they're all metabolized by the same gene, so the CYP3A4 gene, and St. John's Wort interacts with that gene, therefore affects the metabolism of these drugs. Um, so you could be taking the contraceptive pill and have some St. John's wool and end up with a baby. So please do check your drug interactions um, with all herbs, not just St. John's wool.